Okay, I already picked both of those characters. After an insane full-blown woe and a free will up in here, you are ready to get off this roller coaster ride of absolute empowerment. You are feeling downright dizzy from the absurd amount of decisive auto-volition heaped upon you, and you are more than ready to proceed linearly for a while. You are now Jane. A robot shaped like a bunny has just handed you the reins to a computer shaped like a man. What will you do? Jane, Pester Shades. Are you ready to do this thing? Yes! Okay. Looks like all that's left to do is deploy this pre-punched card. Then I guess it's all up to you. Oh, wait. It's Roxy again. Is it? How totally unanticipated by anybody. Can you hold on? I'll try to make it quick. Go. I will be here, quietly calculating. Jane, answer Roxy. Alert! 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 A hugely important correspondence! Paging Dr. Crocker! Roll out to Doc Croc! Hmm? <laughs> Paging. Bet you would like to get paged, huh, Jane? Sweet innuendo. I'm not sure that qualifies as innuendo at all. Wonk, 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 wonk. I honestly think you misspell things intentionally more often than not, regardless of blood alcohol content. You just typed wonk five times in a row. I have only just begun to wonk. What is this urgent thing about anyway? Is it about your booby trap? Because you're too late. It already blew up my whole bedroom. Thank you very much. No, no. I mean, I still feel shitty about that, but it's not about that. I know you already ran it. I've been talking to the shades. Yes, me too. Right now, in fact. And I'm in a bit of a hurry. What is this about? What are you even doing? I'm in the lab doing a thing with my cat. But that doesn't matter. I was doing some thinking, and I was still feeling guilty about fucking up your computer. And all of a sudden, I'm in BFF till death mode here. So I gotta tell you something you need to know before it's too late. Before what's too late? You and Jake hooking up, stupid! Oh my god. This is about turning all your steamy dreams into steamy realities. Yeah, <laughs> realities. Lolo. This isn't happening now. Wherein JC and JE kiss and hug loads and start turning out big heaps of wrigglers the old fashioned way! Heart, 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 heart. The heart, heart, heart! I can't decide whether this mental image percolating here is hot as shit or cute as fuck. No! See, it's your lascivious percolating at once! Roxy, I can see you're set on just wasting more of my time. I understand if you don't wish to play this game, but please try not to interfere with those of us who do! No, no, I'm fine with playing. Just shut up! This is serious. You need to tell him how you feel very soon or you might miss your chance. My chance? What are you talking about? I found out today that Dirk's gonna make a move. A move? You mean a romantic one? Yes. On you. O M F G Jane, get a clue! Um, on me? No. No, my dear sweet Janie, not on you. On Jake! Oh. Oh. I didn't think that. Um. Are you sure? Be sure. Ask glasses if you want. Well then, this is quite a development. Poor Dirk. What do you mean? Well, surely when he reveals his feelings, Jake will. Eh? I mean, he couldn't possibly. What? Repipricate? Yes? <laughs> Why not? Because Jake is not a homosexual. Mm hmm. Are you sure? Are you saying he is? Nope. Then what are you saying? I'm saying that I don't fucking know. But I thought it reasonable to presume he takes a shining to ladies. He does speak fondly of certain females from his favorite films, does he not? True that, 
but how much does that really mean here, Jane? Can you be toast sure on account of some dorky move crushes? Well, now I just don't know. You have me completely bamboozled about this. What do you think? All I'm saying is, my gator is like the exact fucking opposite of yours. Which is to say, is better than completely non-existent. Mine is so sensitive, it has been used to sweep the ocean floor for mythical sea monsters. Turns out, all those monsters are so gay. Truth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then, what does your acute sea beat scanner make of Jake, then? That's what I'm saying. I really have no idea. Kid's a goddamn enigma. He's as hard to read as fine print. And how I do mean fine. Oh, brother. Then your guess is as good as mine? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to conclude from this. You're supposed to conclude that you said you were going to believe anything I said today, remember? Yes, but you just said you don't know! Exactly! Therefore, you must believe me when I say if Dirk lets on all his feelings, there is at least a chance Jake will go like, Dip, okay dude, let's make out! And that means poor Jane is screwed without ever even throwing her filthy old fedora in the ring. It is a ring I like to call Te English Speepstakes. And if you don't, you'll regret it. And I mean, officially, I can't have a horse in the race. Wait, bad metaphor. Because if Dirk and his fucking horses. Never mind. Like, you are both my friends, and I'm not out to mess him up or anything. But I kinda owe it to you as my friend to let you know what's up. And also to get you to stop being such a world champion tight ass. And let Jake know. Oh, not this tight ass baloney again. Jane. What? Jane. <sighs> JC, you are the tight assiest tight ass who ever tightened up an ass. No way! We settled this, remember? My prior resolution made it definitive. I was to be regarded as exceedingly permissive in certain respects. Jane, I am afraid that your bottom is a stubborn clam guarding priceless treasure and a deadly secret. So ridiculous. <laughs> I'm not saying be an idiot and start gushing at him incoherently, but do something. Say how you feel, or flirt a bit, or ask him out on a date inside the fucking game, or such goddamn anything other than a bunch of bullshitty pining and tight assy nothing. You have to do what I say, you promised. I promise to believe what you say, not do it. Those two things are precisely the same shit. If I agree to say something, will you stop tormenting me about it? Yes but only because that will be impossible for me to do when you and him are snogging hard in the motherfucking makeout paradise, AKA sex land. Fine, but let the record show that this resolution has almost nothing whatsoever to do with your use of the phrase sex land. Just, I need to think of what to say and wait for the right moment. Is that okay? Sure, just don't wait too long, and don't underestimate Strider's wiles. Nor Jake's, let's say, open-mindedness? Well, he does often profess his love for adventure, I suppose. Yep. Oh my god, I really don't have a moment to spare, do I? You're finally getting it! Now go! And Jane, I'm warning you. If you don't say something to him, I am personally answering the game specifically to fuck your shit up. Lolly's outie! Prince of Hearts, rise up.
Jake, level up. That absurd dropping earned you another rung on your Escher ladder. One of the steeper prices you've had to pay for a bit of, uh, ladder climbing. But in the end, you suppose it was all worth it to be able to bask in the glory and prestige of the Peter Panache rung. You, uh, guess? Oh, who are you kidding? You don't have a clue what that even means. Jake, Pester Dirk. Bro? Your contraption and its busy fists just royally kicked my ass. And that sure as God made little green apples isn't all there is to say on the matter. Are you listening, my friend? I'll have you know my ass was straight up served ice cold. My savaged caboose has been catered to impeccably. Not unlike that of a gentleman stranded on an island inhabited by a race of indigenous butlers. I hope the far-fetched scenario I have described has adequately communicated the severity of my robotic butt whooping. Does this mean I passed the test or whatever the fuck? Can your robot drop the bullshit and give me the uranium now or what? Dirk? Where the frig are you? I'm afraid Dirk can't hear you right now, Jake. Oh, nuts. Jake, blackout. Jake, Pester Roxy. I still can't find Dirk. All I get is his jerkwad shades. Surprise, a freaking prize. Jake, English. Can't you see I'm fucked deep in all these stupid meowcats? Oh, no? I can't see that actually. I am also fucked deep and busy. What is it? Just seeing if you had heard from him yet. I'd really like to speak with him today. You know, like, actually in person, instead of through his aggravating liaison who is so far up his own ass with this Hell 9000 shtick, it's redonkulous. Is he avoiding me or something? I hope I didn't piss him off through some indiscernible slight. Gosh, he can be sensitive. Nah, he's just biding his time, I guess. Huh, well, okie doke. Man, I just had a crazy dream after getting cold cocked by his roughhouse droid. Yeah, there's been that going around. What? Dreaming. What was yours about? Well, I don't want to alarm you or anything, but it may have just featured none other than the girl of my dreams? What? She had sharp, funny horns and a nice blue dress, and she may have been some sort of spidery vampire? I don't know. It was very brief, but she waved to me. No, 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 no. This won't do at all. W what won't? You sobering over some alien dream girl. Fuck that! I'm having enough a hard time keeping track of the Jake Stakes as it is. The Jake Stakes? The Jake Stakes. Also, who said she was an alien? I just thought she was some kind of pretty monster. Listen, bro. I know you love adventures and dumb shit like that, but you are forbidden from thinking about her again. Okay, I mean, this is a strange reaction, Roxy, but okay. She was a pigment of my imagination, so what choice do I even have? Exactly. She was a fake girl, so forget it. A fakey fake fook. Wait a minute. Has Jane talked to you yet about anything? About anything? Yes, I do imagine our last chat would fit that description. No, I mean about anything serious. Feeling so I see. Uh, wow, wow, is shit about your emotions. Not really. Ugh. I knew she'd procrastinate on this. On what? Can you just message her now? Sure. But what are you talking about? Should I expect a serious exchange about feelings and whatnot? Depends on the present magnitude of her tight assery. Someone needs to move you fuckers along and get some stuff out in the open already. Wait, would this be about certain unrequited pinings you may have alluded to earlier? I didn't say nothing, and ain't saying anything to that effect. Indubitably. 
Miss Zipperlips, was it? Humorously misspelled, of course. I guess I can't help but wonder if that truly is the way she sees me, or if it's just some wild ego-stroking delusion on my part. I always get this sense that people sorta... fancy me, but who knows, I could just be miles off the old rocker about that. You're right. I think it's high time we cleared the air on some things, even if there's a chance it gets all awkward and prickly. That is what being brave and adventurous is all about, after all. It isn't just about summoning the courage to pilfer some priceless loot from trap-laden catacomb, or shooting at stuff with two guns at once. There are treacheries of the heart to consider! <laughs> Lol, you effing dork. But yes, do that. Shit. I gotta go. I think there's someone in here. Are you in danger? Oh. Hmm. Jake. Pester Jane. Aloha, madame. Jake! Hey there! I was actually about to message you. Yes, I have heard that maybe your correspondence was forthcoming. You did? I just got off the horn with Roxy. Wait... What did she tell you? Well, not anything all that specific. Did she goad you into writing this message? Oh, you know how it is. What with her ways. What ways? Y you know, ways! I believe they are not incongruous with those of a feisty and provocative young woman. Provocative my behind? She is skirting dangerously close to meddlesome territory. No, it's really not like that. Hold on. God damn it. Huh? It's just Dirk's inscrutable WrestleBot acting up over there. What the fuck is it doing now? Has one of his gadgets been causing trouble for you over there as well? If by causing trouble you mean clobbering the ever frigging tar out of me while still switched to the novice setting, then yes. But that is not what I messaged you for, Jane. I will not be deterred here. Deterred from what? Jane, I think it's time we had an honest-to-goodness dame to fella talk. Like, about our... stuff. You know? Our... stuff? Our feelings. Like how we feel about each other. Um... yes. Okay. I don't think I'm out of line in suggesting we've been tiptoeing around some things here, do you? Have we? I think so. It's just a hunch. Is there something you want to say to me, Jake? About how you feel? Absolutely! I feel that total honesty between us will be the best policy as we begin our journey together. So I say let's pull all the facts on a table where we can both see them! With that in mind, I would like to ask you a question, Jane, and I hope it doesn't strike you as being too forward. Go on? Maybe it's just my imagination, but I've picked up on certain... let's say, hints. So I have to just come out and ask. Whew, boy. This is actually proving to be a serious challenge to my bravery now that I'm going through with it. I'm getting a little hot under the collar here. No, it's okay. Please continue. Okay, then. What I'd like to know is... Do you like me, Jane? Uh, wait. What? I mean, do you like me as more than a friend? Do you envision us as, like, an item? A romantic pairing of sorts? Wow. Um... Is that the direction in which you would prefer our relationship to progress? Well... I... Please, be honest with me, Jane! Just come out and say it! Do you fancy me? No! What the fuck? Duh! I, I see. Very well then. Jeez, I must have really misread that one. I feel like kind of a bonehead now. Uh, are you sure the answer's no? I guess... that... Sure was a thing I said! <laughs> yes, fair enough. I guess I did put you on the spot there, didn't I? You know, it may sound cocky of me, but I was really not prepared for this answer. You must think I'm just this epic frigging tool now. Couldn't say I'd disagree if you did. No! Oh my god, what am I saying here? Jake, I didn't mean it. I didn't want to make you feel that way. Now, Jane, let's not backpedal here. You've spoken the truth, and I greatly appreciate and respect you for that. But now that I think about it, you know what? No? Hmm. Please don't take this the wrong way, but your answer is actually kind of a relief. It is. I consider you to be a lovely lady of the highest caliber, and I really think any gent worth his salt would be a huge bozo to let the chance to go steady with you slip through his fingers. I've even given the possibility some thought myself. You have? Sure, I'm only human, Jane. I'm going to entertain, let's say, certain ideas. What ifs, you know? Like, what if we did meet up someday, and you asked me out or something? I'm sure I'd say yes, given all we've been through together, and then, well, who knows? You would? 
Probably, but I'm kind of babbling here. The point is, those are just all silly daydreams about stuff and about your feelings for me that I was projecting on you which weren't even real. And now that we've been honest with each other about this, we can kind of move on and just be great friends. Friends! Oh boy! And it's a load off to be honest, because that was a lot to think about on top of everything else. Everything else? Things are kind of complicated for me, Jane, with you and Roxy and Dirk and his crazy responder, and now? Well, it's a tangled web, let's just put it that way. I don't think I'm following. There are a fuckload of irons in the fire, Jane. So many irons in the fire. Such a tangled web. It is a web full of flaming irons. And mixed metaphors, apparently. Exactly. See? You get it. I really don't, Jake. Oh, son of a bitch. What? The robot's being weird again. What's happening? It's having some sort of mental episode. See, this is what I'm talking about, Jane. This is what I'm dealing with here. <sighs> like I said, my life is many different hells of complicated. Jake, could you just tell me what you're talking about? You're right. I did say honesty was the best policy, didn't I? So I might as well not keep certain things so close to the vest anymore. Actually, since you've made your feelings apparent and only see me as a friend, that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> yes! Friends! Maybe you could help me sort out some stuff that has been weighing on me lately. Well, what are friends for, Jake? Jane, are you alright? You seem to be exclaiming more liberally than usual. Me? <laughs> I'm just terrific! I'm feeling so friendly! I clearly just want to be a good friend and bring all my amazing friendliness to bear on your problems. Friendly style! <laughs> Should I mean? <laughs> That's aces. Jane, you're a sweetheart. So, as I was saying, I can't help but feel like all this stuff going on with Dirt, like his responders' mind games and his robots' mysterious and brutal hazings, are all like... Man, I know this is gonna sound crazy. What? Like, they're all part of a really long-term and esoteric courtship process that is bizarre, but somehow makes perfect sense in his mind. Courtship? Yes, from Dirk. To, you know, woo me. Huh, really? I know it's hard to believe, but I know Dirk pretty well, and, well, I'm more than a little sure he likes me in that way, if you catch my drift. And what with how he is... just so relentless and aggressive about everything, you know? Yeah... So, I just start to wonder deep down if maybe it's inevitable. What's inevitable? Him and me, as more than just best buddies. Uh I know if he has his heart set on something, he'll never let up. So maybe it's just gonna happen, and things will be easier that way, and I should just try and come to terms with it. I don't think you have to do anything you don't want to, Jake. Yeah, um... Wait, do you not want to? Like I said, Jane, I'm inclined to entertain certain ideas and what-ifs, that's all. I mean, we do get along really well and share a lot of interests. I'm not saying I'm really gung-ho to the max about the proposition, but yeah, I've given it some thought. I don't know. Do you think that's weird of me, for even considering it? Well... No. I don't think that makes you weird, Jake. Really? I think... that... What, Jane? I think that it's great if you're open to exploring those feelings. Derpity derp da derpity derp da Idiot! <laughs> That's really swell of you to say that. Have I mentioned what a top-notch friend you are, Jane? Yes. As a matter of fact, you have. Now, please don't take me as saying I'm about to go leaping into his arms or anything. <laughs> that would be a bit brash. <laughs> Could you imagine? Wee! But my thought process sort of went like this. He's been my best friend forever, and I've always liked him a lot as a bro. And years ago, I used to joke around with him that we would probably be totally into each other if he was a girl. But of course, that was before I started to realize he was probably serious about those feelings for me regardless. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe that was unwittingly poor form on my part, kind of leading him on or something? Whoops! But then, later I started thinking. Maybe I was being kind of unfair to him in the first place? I mean, by saying we would be a good match only if he was a girl. Like, is that last condition there really all that important? Does that make sense? Hmm. You are incredibly understanding, Jane. Thank you so much for listening. I have never told anyone all that. It's so great to have a friend as good as you. That is what I'm good for, it seems. 
If we hadn't cleared the air just now, I probably never would have had the gumption to talk about it with you. It's so cool how you were honest with me about how you felt. I think honesty is always the best policy. I can't believe how much I was overcomplicating all this in my head. <laughs> this situation is really pretty funny when you think about it. <laughs> yeah! Say, Jake? Not to cast doubt on your feelings, but are you quite sure all of Dirk's actions have been for the sake of courtship? Um... You did say his robot was prone to assailing you, did you not? Is that really an affectionate gesture? Well, he basically sent me that thing as kind of a sparring partner. Like, to wrestle with. And I love to wrestle. Oh. And yeah, I guess he programmed it to be a bit overzealous, but I mean, what do you expect from the guy? I think it's his way of training me to become tougher, which sometimes is annoying, and sometimes when I walk through the jungle I'm sweating bullets wondering if it's going to pounce on me out of nowhere. But there's actually something kind of exciting about that. It's like every day is more of an adventure. And truthfully, it's probably working. I probably am getting better at being in scrums. Yeah, I guess you're right. And his responder, which I guess is really a part of his personality, even if he doesn't like to say so, it kind of lets on a lot more than Dirk ever would. It's almost like it's this weird clone of himself playing passive-aggressive matchmaker between me and his real self. Yeah, I can see how such a complicated relationship could keep you preoccupied. I guess I can't blame you. Maybe you should just... I don't know. What? Maybe you should just go for it. Hell, why not? Just tell him you know how he feels and that you're open to the idea. No! Seriously, what the fuck was that? That sure was a thing I said! <laughs> Are you shitting me with this? Well, what are friends for, Jake? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Friendly style! <laughs> I think that it's great if you're open to exploring those feelings. Oh my god, please just kill me! Whee! Hey, Jane, shut the fuck up! Maybe you should just go for it. Fuck, 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 fuck! You really think so? Mm, yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Well, I was kind of going to let it play out and just see what happens and go from there. But you think a more proactive approach would be better? Well, he likes you. You seem to like him well enough. Just... yes. Why not? Sounds good to me! Wow, I must say, this sort of advice surprises me coming from you. And why would that be? What, are you expecting me to advocate a more conservative approach? To tell you to keep being shy and cagey and keep beating around the bush indefinitely? What would ever give you that idea about me? Hmm, yes, I guess that certainly is a strategy to consider. Jane, I must say your perspective on this is refreshingly bold. I believe you will find that as refreshing boldness goes, I am simply the best there is. <laughs> sure looks that way. Screw it! Ask him out! Just kill the suspense already! Become boyfriends and such! Have some babies! Whoa now! Jane, the decision to sire children with your best bro is not one to be taken lightly! Okay, I think I have to go. I had a stupid game to play. Here. Get this shit out of my face. But you need it. Whatever. Is something wrong? What were you two talking about? I don't want to talk about it. And if I did, I sure wouldn't want to talk about it with you! Should I be offended or apologetic right now? Help me out. You're talking to glasses here. I just want to go to sleep and not wake up forever. I think I'll just put this card over here on the desk. Founder. You just knew you hadn't finished the job. When it comes to children who ain't quite been offed yet, you've got a sixth sense. Jack, finish job. Hang on, it's this guy. Gotta answer this. He better be bearing news of murdered youngsters. Jack, answer dignitary. The deceased child count's still sitting at zero over here. What? That's not all. Alright, spill the beans. One of the brats staged a little rebellion on the moon. 
Stuck the brute's head on a pike for all to see. Real black guy for the kingdom and the condes. Press is going nuts with it. Wait, the brute's dead? Yes. Damn it! It was one of my best agents. Never really cared for the guy, but I admired his brutality. We all did, sir. This is getting poisonal. What's the status on these little shits? Where are they now? The prince flew the coop, and the girl's gone. Gone what? Rogue? <sighs> AWOL. The guy doesn't really take a shiny to puns, and you can't say you blame him. Just gonna finish up business here and take the next shuttle to dice. Over and out. <laughs> Roxy, emerge from fuck deep in Meow Cats. Why did you have to clone so many cats? Why do they all have to breed so much? Why do they all have to be so friendly? Roxy, proceed to transmaterialize her. You trudge through the fluffy morass in the direction of the mysterious device known as the Transmaterializer. Need to send this dead cat back to mom and get this show on the road. More noises echoing in the distance. Some of the meow cats get nervous and poof up their tails. It's pretty clear you aren't alone in here. Better make this quick. You never understood what the point of this thing was. It's old and damaged. Whatever is supposed to show up on the screens is blacked out. Either due to damage or due to this voidy blackout bullshit that seems to follow you wherever you go. Here's the lab's funkier purifier which you use to clone all these cats. You use your other purifier to make paradox slime from cats. Gather and mix the slime in this machine and crank out the mutant kitties. You can't use the cloning device's native purifier to make cats because the target is locked onto your mom. Most of the time, the screen is blacked out, so you haven't been able to investigate her past carefully, much to your regret. Or her tragic death, for that matter. Right now, the target is locked onto a time from her childhood. It's a good thing you stopped by. It's reminding you to collect a DNA sample for later. So you can jumpstart this tri-generational Lalon family reunion that's apparently supposed to happen. Roxy, a purify. Looks like, as expected, trying to purify your mother as a kid from the past would have created a paradox. So her paradox slime is the result. But quite unexpectedly, bringing her scarf along for the ride seems to have created no conflict. And you swiped it right off her neck! Young mom probably has no idea what the hell just happened to her scar. This is so exciting! You are so gonna wear that thing. You don't care how mom gooey it is. Roxy, collect sample. You stow the kid Momgu in one of your capture log bottles. Wait, that was kind of a weird implementation of your modus. You're not even sure what happened there. Oh well, whatever. You guess you can go just... sort of, uh... pick it up? Roxy, go just sort of pick it up. You go just sort of pick it up and that works fine. Now about that totes baller scarf. Roxy, wear the scarf. Be the rider. You can't be the rider because in this universe, the pony is too small for some reason. Not that being the rider ever really made much sense in the first place. Anyway, the scarf looks great, and you made a great decision. Roxy, get to that transmaterializer. This is probably the most perplexing device in the lab to you. It seems to be a sort of a purifier centrifugator hybrid, but it uses a massive amount of power, far more than the simpler a purifier uses. Sending Friglish home should nearly deplete its entire fuel gauge. You have no idea what could possibly account for the extra power consumption. There are many other puzzling things about it. You don't know what the deal is with that frog up there, or the strange cracked disc symbol, or the arrow that is locked firmly on the B1 side. It's all completely meaningless to you. The only things that make sense are the fuel gauge, the two big buttons, and the coordinate panels indicating where and when to target. But it looks like the panels have been damaged somehow since the last time you looked at it. If you change them, there'd be no telling what you would change them to. So you might as well not bother and leave them on their previous setting, which is pretty much your plan anyway. Roxy, deploy Friglish. 
You bust open a bottle of dead cat on the pad and get a little teary-eyed as you say one last goodbye. Oh. Hello, G-Cat. Come to pay your respects, huh? The G-Cat unceremoniously washes a paw with his omnipotent green tongue. Nothing to say there, buddy? No remorse at all? This is all his fault, of course, even though he probably didn't mean to get him killed. At least, you think he didn't. Duh, who are you kidding? You can't stay mad at cats. Others gather around to bid farewell to their common ancestor. This is probably the closest he will ever get to receiving a proper funeral. Roxy, send him home. A mutant kitten does the honors, intentionally or otherwise. Bon voyage, friend. Friglish, fast forward to Jasper Sprite. And that was pretty much how all that happened.